welcome back to our Dutch farmhouse which I am still very much updating and DIYing and this week I will be working on our very ugly and unfinished staircase and hopefully turn it into something really pretty. In last week's video you have seen me already paint one of the walls there because I was making a gallery wall and I wanted to hang it up so I have already painted one wall. Now for the rest of the plan this as you may remember is our hallway and along that wall we have that blue line and I actually want to continue that blue line all the way up the stairs but only on this side so only this wall on the other side I don't know exactly what I want to do yet I might keep it light just like I did in the hallway or maybe we can just go completely blue additionally I want to paint the sides of the stairs so I'm not sure what that is called not the actual steps but the pieces on the side I want to paint those blue as well the same blue as this wall and then we're gonna do the actual fun stuff <laughs> because I want to sand the steps. So I want to take off that white paint that you see now and then stain it in a beautiful darker stain so that it's actual wood. And then for the risers of the stairs, I want to do tiles, not actual tiles because they are very expensive, but stickers that look like tiles. They're going to be very fun, different tiles on the risers of the steps. So that is what my plan is for what it's supposed to look like. But there are a couple of things that I wanna fix just to make it look a little bit more finished, like this gap here, and also this piece of sheetrock that is sitting a little bit weird, and this trim I wanna take off. So I should probably get started on that. Are you gonna help me? You guys are sweet. I only just got started, I already have a splinter. Big bad storm is rolling in by the thunder and the wind ain't nothing ever gonna be the same these april showers don't change a thing right for you for 20 long years damn you heather you still ain't here you ain't my mother anyway. so i have duct taped my sander to my shop vac so i hope this way i can minimize the amount of dust i am just going to start with a very rough sandpaper because I really want to get rid of all that paint and I don't have a lot of patience. So I'm going to do it with an, I think it's an 120 grit. And then if needed, I will go back in with a finer sandpaper when I'm done. But obviously this is my orbital sander, so it's a round shape. I'm not going to be able to get into all the corners. So I'm just going to do everything that I can with this one because this is going really fast. And then I will grab my um, other sander, which has a point to do all the corners. So I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down. And thus began the very long process of sanding the steps. Even with an 80 grit sandpaper, it took a very long time for the paint to finally come off completely. And additionally, this is of course not the most comfortable position to be in, sitting on a step while working. So I did get halfway a very good audiobook though. For the first couple of steps, I also sanded the bottom because you would be able to see that going up the stairs. But to be completely honest with you, I stopped doing that at the step where I could no longer see the underside of it. So I only did that for about half the stairs, I think. When I checked at the end, I was about seven hours into my audiobook. So that is about as much time as it cost me without any breaks that I took in between. So needless to say, I was very glad to be done. <laughs> I sanded all the steps and then I thought it was a good idea to pack everything in so that I could paint uh, the walls and the sides of the stairs without spilling any paint onto my newly sanded steps. And then I was halfway with the painter's tape and everything when I realized that that is not a good idea at all. 
because I also wanted to stain the steps. And if I would wait with staining until the very end of the process, then I would have to tape everything that I had previously painted. And we all know how that goes in this house, because if I take any tape off of any wall, half the wall comes with it and I'd have to fill that up and paint that again. So no, not my best idea. So I stopped halfway and decided to stain it first, but I do have to go to the hardware store to get that. So um, I'm going to do that in the morning. The duct tape shop vac solution worked really well, but I do have some dust all over me. So I'm gonna try and wash that off of me and then I will call it a day and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Uh, my plan to go to the hardware store hit a bit of a snag. Uh, there is a crazy storm out here and we have all been advised to stay inside, not to mention that we wouldn't be able to leave the street because there are trees blocking the road everywhere. So I just really hope nobody gets hurt. And for now, I'm just gonna have to go and check what I have in the house and what we can do without going to the store. So the answer is not much. Um, I hoped that I had some stain left so that we could stain a couple of those steps, but turns out I don't. So what I can do is I can draw the line here of where this chair railing is gonna go, and then I could paint the walls. I could, I could do that. I mean, I, I also realized that it's really not that big a deal if any paint spills on the steps. I mean, I could just sand it off again. It's, I don't know why I made such a big deal out of that. So I will start by drawing a line on the wall of where this trim is gonna go, and then I will know what part's gonna be blue and what part's gonna be uh, white. It is gonna be right above the light switch. That is really lucky. That is nice. Okay. I went out Try to cut a pine tree down Fell through the ground like Alice If you have seen the hallway makeover, you might remember that for the white part of the wall, I used a 50-50% mix of a white with a color called Oyster. So I mixed it all in an Ikea bucket and used that to paint the walls. And I'm doing that for this space as well because obviously I want it all to be the same. So I finally got to go to the hardware store. So I've got my stain, I got the plaster I needed, and I've got the trim piece. And I also got some rollers that I needed to continue painting. So we can finally continue. Taking a house to So you can learn to be kind. I spent some time caulking all of the edges, making it look just a little bit more finished. And then I also smoothed out that strange piece of sheetrock at the top of the stairs. Oh, what a start. Inside out and upside down. No stress, I'm a clean up this mess. La, like Alice. Well, that's not pretty. First hand me scissors. Then ring out the heavy artillery Oh, Justice is my middle name I'm Alice That is a beautiful color Dear Queen of Hearts I'm a grown you I say So you can learn to be kind Luckily the stain dries quickly, so in the meantime I also quickly stained the railing in that same color and then I moved on to putting the trim piece on the wall. It was actually quite tricky figuring out at what angle I needed to cut that thing as I, I don't have a tool for that. 
I do think it worked out okay. So I filled up all the seams and the nail holes with caulk and then I let that dry to be painted over later. And then I painted the sides of the stairs in that same blue color. I did however use a different paint for this. So this is a wood lacquer in a satin finish whereas the wall is uh, obviously a wall paint in a matte finish. And I actually did the same thing in the hallway between the walls and the baseboard. So it all looks kind of the same. Hello, did you come to cuddle? Did you come to cuddle? You're no help at all. I thought you were gonna help me. What have you done? You've only slept all day. Okay, I have stained all the steps. They are looking absolutely beautiful. I love this color. So I have talked about these stickers before. I have these tile stickers. They are actually, I think they're supposed to be put on existing tile. Obviously we don't have that, so we're gonna have to work with it. But they are all different. They are grayish with a little bit of brown and a little bit of blue. So they look really, really good with the combination here, with the void and the blue. The one thing is I thought that this was just one sticker, but um, it is actually an individual sticker on like a sheet. So the space that is in between is not included, which means that I have to do that myself and that I had to clean up the mess I made <laughs> because I was very messy with the staining and the painting. So there was paint on the risers. I have painted over that with a lighter color. So I'm just gonna have to do a second layer of the blue here and then we can get started on the stickers. I am loving how this looks. So I did the first row of stickers on the riser, like the top riser, and I made a tiny mistake, uh, which is a little bit stupid because I actually thought of this before and then I forgot, but it's, it's not that bad. I started with, an, with a whole sticker um, at the beginning and then I just worked my way to the right. And then obviously at the end, you've got one bit where you have to cut one. I think it would look a lot better if I would start in the middle so that every step, every riser has one tile in the same place in the middle. So from now on, that's what I'm gonna do. And then all the way at the end, I can see if I maybe have some tiles left and I could redo the first one. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it. So I marked the middle of every riser and then I will do one in the middle first and then I'll work my way to the sides. I guess that's also how they do it if they actually professionally tile things. So. so I'm going to start by laying out all the tiles so without actually attaching them. So I know exactly how I want them placed and then I also will know if I have anything left and how much I will have left. It is looking so good. <laughs> I am so happy with how it turned out. It is beautiful. But there are a couple of things that I still need to do. I made a decision about this wall. I actually like that it's lighter, like the way that it is in the hallway. So I thought I would just quickly paint it, but mm -mm. there is no quickly painting any wall in this house. You may have seen this in previous videos, but on the walls here in, in this hallway especially, they have painted directly onto the plaster without any kind of priming or anything. So 
Whenever I paint anything here, my roller actually just takes the existing paint off, which is incredibly frustrating. So now I have all this kind of weird stuff on the wall. So I have to sand it again and then paint it again. So that's fun, but I will just quickly do that off camera because it's boring. And then I am almost done. I have spray painted the brackets for the railing so I can put the railing back up. Then we'll just put up some art pieces, make it all pretty, and then I'll show you what it looks like. This is a very big upgrade from what it was. So I am, I'm very excited about how it turned out. And I'm very curious to hear what you think. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this project. I will put a link in the description of the stickers that I've used in case you want to use it for your own project. If you enjoyed this video, it would be really, really helpful if you would press that subscribe button. And for now, thank you so much for being here again and watching. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.